Yeah. Yeah. What's up with y'all? Hey, D. You got some mixes I can look at. I'm having a party. And like usual, I need some of yours. And some more, you know, just to get it started. Yes, I do. I have a few new titles. Let me show you what we have. Thanks, D. Oh, oh yeah. That's my husband, Maxwell. Black Ice Chronicles. My husband, but you should have introduced Whoa, me to me first. Please don't start. I purposely come up here to get away oh, from okay. your shit. I had a new Chicago, the new Fatty, the new Zone, the new New Era, and I have my new one called Crazy Deeds Remixes Move Like Hotcakes. It comes. They sure do. Oh, thank you. It, um, uh, actually comes free with my new DVD entitled Females. Females? What's that, porn? No, it's not porn. I don't do porn. It's... It ain't porn? It got nudity and everything you do got nudity in it, man. If that ain't porn, I don't know what it is. Nudity isn't porn. It's all about how it was created and the intent when it was shot. Taking up for him now? No, nigga. I'm taking up for myself. I came up here to get some photos taken. You talking shit. And I don't know why with all the porn you got stashed up in the closet. Ooh. Bitch, you pushing it. Bitch. Bitch, you pushing it. Did you, did you just say bitch? Crazy D. You think my wife is a good candidate to uh, model for you? My name is Bennett. And I ain't in it. That's between y'all. No, D. Tell him when I first came in how I asked you about it. You did. What's that supposed to mean? It means I would have done it to bring you home some great pics. But like I told D. D. you such a jealous motherfucker. <laughs> you can't enjoy what you got. And if D. was about it, he could get it. <laughs> you think this funny bitch, huh? You think you can just come up in front of this dude and make fun of me, huh? We always say we always say things to each other. <laughs> That's what makes our relationship work. Get you. Oh, 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 Social side, because uh, I see the political side of you. I see the socially conscious side of you. Let's talk about the party that's going to happen all this oh, weekend. Okay. Tell us the, all okay. the different events that's going. On. Well, okay, let me let my hair down. I ain't got too much, but but you're partying for the ride. Yeah, riot. we right. you know we come together, you know, and and it all ties back into back in the day when black folk got together. What did we do? We celebrate. We celebrate and we fellowship with one another and enjoy each other's company. So, 
we trying to see how much everybody loves Vegas and give them something different. But our party scale tomorrow, after the two wheels, one love ride, we have the pool party at um, Suncoast. We have a pool party from 12 to 5. Um, after that, we have a dance in the grand ballroom at the Suncoast, and that's from 9 to like about 2 in the morning. And while we're talking about the party and the Desert Throttle, this is my partner who brought the idea to me. He tried to stay out the way, but we fight yeah. all the time because he's a major figure. This is AP, y'all. This is one of my little brothers. My younger brother. I'm your big, big brother. brother. <laughs> I'm his big little <laughs> young brother. He hails from Louisville, Kentucky, lives in Phoenix, Arizona, but he's a power player in, in, in the bike game. You know, good dude. Good dude to know. And once again, we go back to that competition because people see him making power moves. They feel threatened. It's not about that. We're doing us. Now, and we're doing it for the bike set for everybody. Because when I go to Sturgis, when I go to the Rock Rally, when I go to all them events, that's what gave us the idea to do this. Because we don't see a lot of us there. Okay. They shot him down in the street, right in front of me. Who is that? Do you know the persons who killed him? Yeah, no. No, I don't know. I, I, I can't. You can't what? Look, Miss Soho, I can't help you unless you want to help yourself. So again, do you know the persons who did this? After all, he was protecting you. I know. I didn't think I'd feel like this. They will kill me. Don't you understand? I don't understand shit. But there is a man who was somehow involved with you, who is now dead, and you have no answer when you have all the answers. Wipe your nose, Miss Soho. I need something. I need some answers. You can understand that, can't you? This man was your friend, your protector, and he gave it up for you. Give me something to go on. Why was he killed? He wasn't my friend, nor was he my protector. Shit, he was weak at that. If he was, he didn't give it up for me. Maybe in some sick way for the money. That no good, whole hungry nigga was just a pimp, okay? I can't say I'm sad to see him go. Okay, Miss Soho, we are getting somewhere. Why don't you? He kept going for more bitches, as he would say. When he first pulled me, he said it would be just him and me. Me and him against the world. Bonnie and Clyde thing. I did it. It was nobody but me. I planned it. You got me, cop. Book me. I'll sign a full confession. You can't threaten me with jail because I'm ready to go. You ain't ready for the chair. I ain't crossing them dudes, though. Don't you care that them dudes are brutal killers who will do it to someone else? For whatever stupid reason you had it done, no one deserves the way he was served. No human being deserves to be served up like a pig. It's your duty. Stupid? Stupid? Could be. But I know where my bread is buttered. I know my ass wants to live, even if it's just for a little longer. Brutal killers? Maybe. Pimpin' Jack dead? Good. My duty? My duty? <laughs> what I give a fuck? Cut. That's good. I couldn't use a toilet without water wanting to touch. Excuse me, to watch. Oh, you're getting over, you're getting over on the character. Damn, he was touching and watching me take a piss. Dang. <laughs> Right okay, look, look at this. Take 10,057 on one part of the script. 